Hello, my name is Mark from JazzGuitarLessons.net for an audience of two, actually, for the Jazz Guitar Vlog. And uh, yeah, family's looking at me like, what's he doing? Uh, yeah, quick vlog. Mo one of the most violently Canadian things you can do. Or, well, maybe the next best thing would be to do it in French. Le faire en français, ça serait le fun. Uh, bonjour à tous mes amis québécois et uh, amis en Europe. Alors, here's the vlog. Uh, les Franco-Ontariens, yeah. Les Fran look it up, Fran Franco. Tous les francophones. My wife is French, but not from Quebec, so there's always this thing. So there we go. I don't typically shoot these vlogs where I go like Brainiac, pure theory, but I want to run one right now. Uh, if you're not adept at theory, feel free to skip this one and watch an, uh, any other vlog on the website. So here, here it is. I had a, a call yesterday with a bunch of my coaching students, and then I had also filming on a, a new module that's going to be part of the platform. And we talked about Triton substitutions. And here's one thing, the piece of advice is super simple. Do not alter your substitutions because, uh, and I'll go into detail of this. If you take a G7 and you Triton substitute it for a D flat seven or a D flat nine uh, for that matter, just don't make your Triton sub altered because if, think about this. If you add a flat nine to your D7, your D flat seven, that flat nine is actually going to come back to being the diatonic D note, the, the fifth of G. So the point is if you tritone sub, make the tritone sub as plain vanilla as possible. Don't make it sharp nine, sharp five, whatever, because the notes you alter to it just becomes the regular notes of your G7. Don't believe me? Don't believe me? Let's do it. So G7 is G, B, D, and F, right? And your the, the ninth of G is uh, it's A, the 11th is C, and the, the 13th is E. So if you take a D flat 9, just by construct, you get uh, the, the flat 13 and you get the flat 5 or, uh, or sharp 11 right there for free. But check this out. If you do a D flat chord during uh, a G7, it's a trite on sub, and you do a D flat 7 sharp 9, and the sharp 9 is just a 13 of G, which sounds beautiful. The flat 9 is just a fifth of G. The, um, if you do the five, let's do the fives now. So if you do the sharp five, uh, you just wind up with an A note. If you do the flat five, you wind up with a, a G note. So the, the lesson here is when you do a tritone sub, work with the plainest possible sub, or else you just revert back to using regular notes of your dominant chords. That's it for this vlog. It was a quick one. I can't do the Steve Carroll thing on my vlog. I can't. I almost said it. I, I can't. But you know, guys, where, where I wanted to go with this. So thanks for watching. I will see you soon on this YouTube channel or on jazzguitarlessons.net. Improve your jazz guitar playing with a real teacher. And this has been a really, really fast vlog from the kitchen for an audience of two people while bacon is in the oven. Take care. Talk to you soon.